Welcome to Creeping It Real. I'm Judah over here, Jacob. And behind the camera is the prodigal son. He has returned. He has returned. Oh. You will never see him on another on company time video, but he is okay. We may push it. As there. far as we know. There's a chance. Never say never. He's no he's not on the schedule, but he is still part of the Creeping we'll It Real see, family. We'll see what the fan base says. Oh. As long as his new job permits, he will be back here to help us out us. every once in a while. Exactly. And, uh, we just got done watching the 1993 Freaked. <laughs> Two fingers up. <laughs> Gabe, roll that trailer. Yes, please. Roll the trailer. Now, I was telling you the reason I picked this movie because I did pick this movie. Yeah, because of the, the turd that you said was I saw smoking. Kogan, Brad Pack sleaze. Oh, yeah. yeah. Elijah C. Skuggs, freak show tycoon. An amateur bio engineer. I can look at a guy like Man, the, Kevin the quality of and this trailer <laughs> is mad. Together, so if you guys are watching this now, if you would take uh, about step back about 20 feet from your screen, you should get uh, HD. <laughs> yeah, I you have no idea what's going on. So he turned him into a freak. I didn't look for really uh no, it, no it's it's okay. I, yeah, and it's not like uh, you guys are missing much. And if you feel like you are, why don't you watch our stream on Rumble? Yeah. Keeping it real. You know, one of these days I'll get as good as Linus is at his uh, sponsor segue. Who's Linus? Linus Tech Tips. Mm. I thought you were going to say hey, Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro, man. His rice pussy is super wet. That's the kind of Star studded, to say the least. I know. How did they even get the double chicken head to come and star in this movie? I don't know. Now, this guy is in some commercial, and that's kind of like a meme. I don't know if it's like anti-diarrhea or something, but... <laughs> yeah. I thought he had some kind of guest appearance on some late night show. I can't remember what, what late night it was. I don't remember. But anyways, so that's that was Freaked. Uh, you guys were spared the hour and a half that I was uh, sitting here being tortured, and I think it was... In spite of me having us watch Terrifier, <laughs> it uh, was this, this was, was my revenge. Of, yeah, so can we drop it now? But that make you see that doesn't make sense because I suffered just as much in this one. This was this was not fun. But you picked it. I did pick it because I was mentioning there's a syndicated show called Creature Feature, mm -hmm. uh, which I subscribe to on YouTube. And now do they do uh, like uh, I hear Creature Feature? I figure it's probably more creature, but do they do pretty much practical effect only type stuff or I mean it's it's all older horror movies. Okay. So mostly I would assume. Yeah. Anyways. So I saw their thumbnail and it what showed was what I thought was a piece of poop with a pipe in its mouth. And I was like, hey, this seems like a movie that yeah, Gabe would super love. Super high res uh, mm. is my guess. But it ended up being the It was a worm. You Professor. But you had professor seen this. Worm. Before, which I was not uh, yeah, aware of. So, yeah. well, it's got my favorite uh, teen, in it. pre preteen crush. Mm. No, uh, Megan Winter. Gotcha. That's right. You were telling me about that. <laughs> Let's give our ratings just so people can bounce out if they don't feel like listening to us. Talk. Uh, two and a half. I'm gonna go with four, and not because the movie was great, but the practical effects were beautiful. I, oh, I that, can't. that was good, but I mean, you throw enough money at anything and. Well, let's talk about money. Yeah, let's in a talk second. about money. So this was this starred Alex no, Winter. You're not getting a raise. As you know, Alex Winter starred in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Yeah, with with Keanu Reeves. Oh, this, mm -hmm. these, there's so many tie-ins right here. First of all, after like uh, I think the Bogus Adventure movie, maybe Alex kind of stopped doing movies and he went into television which he was part of something called The Idiot Box on MTV. Gabe, can you throw up that, play that clip for us from The Idiot Box just so that we kind of get a... Hi, nice I'm wagon. Alex Winter, and I'm going to be starring in this wacky new comedy series called The Idiot Box. 
There's three good reasons why you gotta watch this show. One, it's totally different. Two, it's really funny. Huh? And three, if you don't, this clown's gonna drive over my head. Hey, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Please, folks, don't miss the idiot box. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, Alex. Oh. Well, show that Okay, folks, that's enough. Alex that would, that sums that up way. the movie. That that really in thirty uh, seconds. That, you know, I'm not shocked by that at all. That, that was very MTV I for that time. I bet and that was his idea too. It might have been. Yeah. But. Okay, where this started was Alex actually did a short horror film called Barbecue. Really? That was supposed to be a spoof. It was only 11 minutes long. It was supposed to be a spoof off uh, Chainsaw, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, Lost media, by the way. And he did it with some of the guys from the Butthole Surfers. Yeah, oh, the band, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's so they, what, what the movie was supposed to be, too. Yes, right? yeah. exactly. Butthole Surfers. Yeah. So they did this barbecue movie, and then they came up with this freaked idea. It was supposed to be a super violent movie starring the by butthole the surfer. by the way gabe um the butthole surfers i know is not a uh hit on um it's not a homosexual slur it was a band back in the 90s oh i know i found it on my dad's ipod touch in like third grade i know <laughs> the, the album cover he, 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 the album cover <laughs> the, the pencil in the eye right i know some stuff you do y2k you're Y2K not totally historian gen z mm-hmm. yeah you got a little x in you you got a little m- millennial in you. Uh, mean, no. Speaking of. Buffalo Surfers is definitely Gen X. No, I know, but I'm saying he's got a little. And his, his dad, dad is definitely an Xer. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Do you know who Marilyn Manson is, Gabe? I do. Marilyn, <laughs> Man- Marilyn Manson? I do know Marilyn Manson. Me and Eli went and watched him last oh, weekend. Oh, last really? weekend? Yeah, I told you that. We went and saw Marilyn, Marilyn Manson. I was wondering why you're wearing all the new gear. Yeah, man. I mean, you told me the in hat? advance that you were going, but I didn't, oh, dude, didn't know. I've got stories, but we'll save it for later, man. They okay. are. The Chicago mm-hmm. is a lovely town. Nice. Anyways, so Can't butthole surfers. Yeah. Anyway, so the idea was to be this super violent horror movie. Okay, they're shopping it around. Uh, the studio execs aren't totally digging it. They're like, you need to rework this. They drop the butthole surfers. They bring Fox, some. Fox picks it up eventually. Yeah. Uh, they bring in some other guy. They rewrite it. They're like, you got to get it down to a PG 13. They do. Then they turn it into a comedy versus horror. Dark comedy, I would yes. say. Yeah. <laughs> and leaning more towards what the sketches were. In idiot box. That makes sense, 100%. So let's talk about budget because you have the numbers. Yes. What was the budget for that? I'm curious to hear that because I know all about the gross, but I'll I'll, I'll hit on that afterwards. <laughs> so $12 million. Shut the front door. That is that a super all went low budget, to, though. That went to uh, the cast and practical effects. Maybe not practical even the cast effects. because it could have been you know, uh, hey, hey, Keenan, dude, bro, you want to help me out? That I love that you bring that up mm-hmm. because I, you told me that Keanu was in it, but I didn't see him in the credits. And I'm looking online. I go to IMDb. Mm-hmm. He's not in the credits. I'm like, what the heck? Then I find that he has an uncredited part as the dog boy. Yep. No credit. Okay, the budget, $12 million. I was like, dude, take me out of there. He got a million bucks for doing that part. Well, yeah, man, he probably sat in the makeup chair for hours. But that but is yeah. crazy. When your whole budget is 12 and he gets a, 12 a million, it. that is an insane payout yeah, for that. So so, so he probably uh, talked him down from from two as a buddy. Maybe. Man. No, but anyways. But I, you let me know when you're ready to hit gross because I'm, I'm full. I am full. Well, let, okay, there, there's more to be touched on before that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this dude, Joe Roth, he's into this. He's the, the studio exec. That, From they, Fox? Yeah. Oh, Lord. So he's so into it, and he's like, dude, I'll give you $12 million, just take it down to PG-13, they make this more of a comedy. He's like, I got big plans for this. He's got huge Comic plans books, for it. They action believe, figures. Con- pull up the action figures, Gabe. Yeah, they got the udders right. Yeah, they have all six, all six on that m- male cow. Exactly. Comic books, novelization, 
Action yeah. figures, big plans. Yeah. Then Joe, as I said John, Joe Roth gets fired and replaced by Peter Chernin. Peter comes in. He's like, what is this dog water? Yeah. And he's like, and $12 million? What were you thinking? Mm-hmm. They do some test screenings. <laughs> People are not into this. Okay. They pull it, right? I think except for like two movie theaters in the States. Except oh. for Japan. Yes. Of course. Exactly. Of course. Exactly. <laughs> Japan. But Australia? Yeah, that seems a little weird. Yeah, but of course, this did well Well, uh, uh, in, in Japan. It's... Peter pulls some of the budget. He pulls post-production budget, so some of the effects were not completed. Interesting. I'd be curious to see which ones. Because, I mean, it looked, and we joked about it, but it looked complete. I mean, it, full it circle. Did. Uh, they did a good job with what Especially they had. The, the rat rod stuff at the mm-hmm. end was mm-hmm. fantastic. Mm-hmm. You know, gross, but yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, they gave it no money for promotion whatsoever. That makes sense. I, it, look, this thing grossed 30000 Not even, yeah. but $30,000 from a $12 million I know. Budget. And as you mentioned, it only aired in two cinemas in the united states and over its weekend it only made six thousand dollars dude I, you talk about somebody took a big l oh yeah yeah, yeah no. i mean when you when you're putting action figures behind something you think it's going big and then to have somebody else step in and just like pull the rug out from underneath you oh my gosh heart-wrenching it is but at the same time like i mean do you blame them whatsoever oh it, I, I, i'm it curious what they ended up the full production cost was on it if they went in and cut it oh gotcha you know um did they get in there in time to save some mm. millions exactly um keanu's just running away he's like i got my one <laughs> yeah when i read about the test screening one thing that i thought was funny is when it got to the brooke shields part where she like tells the uh, alex's character you've been talking for 90 minutes apparently some teens stood up and yelled, shut the F up, bitch. Wow. And the execs were like, okay, this is Look, not good. There was a lot of angry anger going on in the 90s, man. I was, I'm was, i like, what What kind of hate did they have for Brooke Shields? I don't... New, new metal. <laughs> you know. Now, here's something funny. Now, Disney now owns this, and they really hit hard on Disney towards the end of the movie. I thought that was funny. Um Besides that, man, mm. I mean, I was more. I think my chicken costume was much more entertaining than this movie was. I like the fact that you bring that up. Oh, so it says here, Freaked received a mixed response from critics. Entertainment Weekly described the film as having more laughs than a month of Saturday Night Live. Yeah, and I feel like this is definitely SNL peak. In the 80s or, the or 90s? 90s? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Gabe, can you look up the uh, SNL? Yeah, man. I told you. It was... Adam saying, oh, my gosh, this was a very good cast. Is, I told you. I just said it was peak SNL, man. To say this was better than, oh, I that's know, insanity. Joke, okay, man. let's go back to I'm IMDb. Let's see what else they got to say. I mean, no, sorry, Wikipedia. You, you knew what I was saying. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. But it also says. Two awards. Grand yeah, two Prize awards. And... The 95 something something film festival. And <laughs> That's what I read it as, too. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> and whatever. Best actor. 94 fan festival. That's oh crazy. My gosh, for a Saturn Award show? Oh, best makeup. Okay. Okay. I that, can see that. that makes sense. Yeah. Any kind of award for like effects, I'm going to fully get on board with that. Yeah. But I love how it says Freak has garnered a minor. <laughs> well, first of all, for something to have a cult following, it's already a small. Following, yeah, I mean, but that's the point for them yeah. to then preference a minor cult. That's like that's like that's like calling TV. somebody a fat obese. Like, I mean, it's like a double, yeah. Anyways, I know that's like they really had to hit it in there. It's very funny to me, yeah. but so. it has had let's say somebody actually thought this was good enough to put on Blu ray and they have all these extra features and everything on it. I, I'd be curious to see how that did. They have you like, know? yeah. Because like this, stuff. and, and you come we'll back save us, you guys from watching. If you want, this this isn't even worth a cult following type watch, in my opinion. Like um, they've got some suggestions here, like UHF. Like I think that's good enough for like a cult watching. 
but this was, in my opinion, just a waste of an hour and a half. Like it was, it was, um, it was an infantile version of Naked Gun, and that's already and that's, yeah, exactly. childish. It really is, and you know, immature. It's just kind of like you and your buddies in in third grade going, <laughs> "Pencil looks like a wiener." <laughs> <laughs> That's essentially the entire movie wrapped up in a sentence. So I did not like this movie. I would love, I literally, there there are people out there who like this movie. If anybody who loves this movie is watching this review and is pissed off that we... And you have two brain cells to rub together. Wow. Yeah. I, I, I want you it. to comment. Shake is a chicken shit. And tell us, I mean... I want to hear what let's, what it let's, is. Let's that debate. You... Let's debate. I mean, the internet is just one big stage for debate. That's you true. Know? Uh, so let's hear your reasoning. I would love. Maybe we missed something. Maybe we missed something. I, I really. I'm not here to hate on you. I would just like to understand. No, I, we... I joke. I joke about the. T- it, yeah, but we never talked about what the actual synopsis is. We have. Is there one? Yeah, there is. There. I there mean, is. he's he's really, uh, you know, he was a child star. Yeah, he's kind of like doesn't have anything going for him anymore. This company, who's like destroying the environment through their toxic ways, wants to turn their image around. So they hire him. They want to, you know, have him as a spokesperson. So that's Ralph's reason for. Now you're a bad guy. Yes. Okay. So. He's flying to Africa to take a look at what they're supposedly doing good, which is when their car has a mishap and they end up at the freak farm. And that dude just On is like... accident, yeah. They like, uh, you know, he's like, fresh meat, you know. Yeah. It brings him in hey, to look, man, Ugliness is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> um, yeah, look, uh, skip this one 100%. Um, I agree. We're sorry for those who... Uh, for that one person who came into the stream... Uh, and and watched. I, I just, I will forever hold this over your head, Judah. Just, We've been friends for a long time. I don't know the exact years. I, I have to sit down. Almost and fifteen out. years. Yes. Almost fifteen years, and this has qu- made me question <laughs> that friendship. And I mean, I was almost like at a point where like your family. This. Oh, you take it back the family card. This has wow. severed the ties. You are uninvited from Thanksgiving. I hope you rot. Wow, you were you were taking this worse than I did. Terrifier. No, I'm just joking. Um, but in all seriousness, uh, it, it's a skip. I mean, for sure, it it is. The only thing I can say is the practical effects were amazing. But having to sit through, sure, if you put it on mute while you watch it, if you want to watch for the practical effects, put it on mute. That's great. I mean, that's a fantastic solution. Um, you know, yeah, you're not going to get any high res photos on <laughs> on Google. Probably not. Um, but no. Hey, Gabe, what did you think? I mean, I went to, I went uh, went to go pee and ended up talking to Edgar for like twenty minutes. <laughs> so what what you did is you go. I'm not going to go poop, guys. Don't worry. Well, what I happens? Blow, I didn't want to blow gone. up the the clean bathroom. The know? guy comes back after being gone for two weeks yeah. and has to go to the bathroom. Just pee pee. I don't poo-poo. get it. Just pee pee. Yeah. So Gabe took any advantage he could to get out of here and not finish watching this movie. Yeah, so it was rough. Rough. Watch. Yeah. I think even Pudge at one time started hacking and rough and, watch. Uh, yeah. I but, forgot Pudge was sitting on my lap that whole time. Yeah. So no, I I, I joke about it, uh, being harsh. It's it's I just it's not it has zero value in my opinion. Yeah, I wasn't um, into it. It's very it's like it's all the 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 cringiest stuff of the nineties. Like comedy wise, mm. like really, I mean, Bobcat, Goldwith, or whatever, you know, like, I mean, it's just all there and it's all, ugh. and so, yeah, it left a bad taste in my mouth for sure. So, hey, uh, n- next week, guys, we will be watching and streaming the uh, peanut butter peanut butter solution. solution. Um, so, uh, if you guys are interested in watching that with us and hearing our commentary, uh, go ahead and catch us on Rumble. We'll be on there streaming. Um, otherwise, uh, watch out for our review on that next week. Uh, on right YouTube. here. That's so, right. So uh, we've been creeping it real. I'm Jake. This is Judah. Uh, this is uh, our uh, soon-to-be-replaced Gabe. And uh, wow. no, we're joking. Wow. Hey, Gabe, we actually, 
it was a nice surprise to have you pop in right My when heart started. lit up when yeah. you came in. Yeah, I was Aww. excited. I was like, man, I can't wait to tear this kid down. <laughs> um, no, no, we missed you, Gabe, seriously. But anyways, hey, guys, thank you for uh, Creeping It Real. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.